I can't even get this tripod open most times. There we go. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, you guys. I am currently in the parking lot of Social Security Administration in Oklahoma City. I'm a little bit nervous about filming here because I don't know what this building is right in front of me, but it is all gated, closed off. You can't get in without a pass. You can't get out without a pass. At first, I was like, is this the SSA building? figured out that it wasn't so I'm really and there's like no label on it doesn't say what that building is but it looks very suspicious very secretive if you ask me me and Meech got married <laughs> December 31st 2019 right I got all of my documents turned over to my new last name right my my mortgage is in my new last name it's in both of our names but uh, that has my new last name on it my driver's license has my new last name on it. Everything has my, you know, my last name post marriage on it, except for my social security card. And of course my, my social security number. Uh, and then my passport. Is there anything else that has my old last name? I think my, my personal email has my old last name on it. But everything has been switched over except for social security. And so now here I am at 2023, finally doing it. One, because I need to update my passport. And two, really because of other things that I know that I'm gonna need. Uh, for example, I tried to open a Roth IRA. Big girl, okay, big girl decisions. I tried to open a Roth IRA with Fidelity and they were like, we can't confirm that you are who you say you are. And I was like, I know it's because my social security number, the name on that doesn't match my ID. If they try to give me a fit in here, I am ready to give them the receipts. I literally brought everything I could because not that anybody in social security would be hard to work with, but I'm just like, do they find it suspicious that I waited so long to change my last name kind of thing? So I literally brought everything that I could think of. I probably brought way too many documents, but if they want something that is not on the typical list of like getting your name changed, then I think I, I got it. If you, if you don't know, before I was married to Meech, I was married. Um, so Meech is my second marriage. <laughs> be nice okay be nice we're not gonna talk about the first one he's just literally the best human in the world aside from my best friend Kayla Meech is so good Meech is so perfect I got divorced and then I met Meech and so I feel like that's why things could get complicated so I brought my old marriage certificate I brought my divorce decree I brought my new marriage certificate I brought other things I think I brought my passport even that has my other last name on it but anyways anyways got here 30 minutes early thinking that you know maybe they'll you know if they're running ahead if I get here at 3 because my appointment's at 3 30 then maybe they'll call and I can get out of here a little bit early but no they send you the check-in text 30 minutes early and it's like upon arrival use this link to check in you can't check in earlier than 15 minutes prior to your appointment time and I'm like well thanks thank you for making it impossible for me to get out of here early like I I want I don't want to be here just as much as you don't want to be here you know but like you're kind of making me anyway it is about time for me to check in so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna take you guys around with me a little bit this week I'm thinking about going up to school sometime this week have some things that I need to just drop off. I need to update you guys actually because this year I am moving positions. I'm still going to be in the same classroom with the big glass windows and everything. I love that classroom a lot. But this year I am going to be the multilingual learners uh, educator. Uh, so it's kind of like, well, it's not kind of, it is what you would call an ESL or an ELL class. There are several educators out there who just either don't feel like working with multilingual learners is worth it they don't know how to work with multilingual learners and so they just don't 
They don't give them the resources that they need to access the language. They don't give them the opportunity to show mastery of content. Anyway, I'm really excited about this position. I think it's going to give me some bigger opportunity to advocate for our students while giving them a space to gain more meaningful access to the language, grow their language acquisition while also growing their mastery of content in all areas. I got a bunch of games from a thrift store. Games that typically would be really expensive like Cranium, Apples to Apples, like those are full big games and I got them at a thrift store in their entirety for like two dollars. Actually I think it was less for each. I think they were like a dollar or less each and then I got some other games that I don't know what I'm going to do with but they're like reading comprehension, listening comprehension kind of games. But anyway, I need to check in for my SSA appointment. I got here early and now I'm just sitting here rambling and talking to you guys forever, okay? So I'm going to do that. I'll see you guys later. You guys, I did it. It's 3.28 right now. My appointment was at 3.30. I checked in on my phone when I got here, of course, and I keep looking at the screen and not you guys. I'm sorry about that. You have to forgive me. I'm out of practice. Anytime that I think something is going to be super serious, like deathly serious, like life or death. And to me, social security is like life or death. Like I just imagine and I assume that anything that has to do with social security, if you have to go into the office for anything, like they are going to be upset so i made sure like i told you guys i had everything lined up if they asked for something that wasn't on the list i was gonna have it i came over prepared for this okay so i get there and i try to be extra pleasant like i i try to kill people with kindness so that they don't come at me sideways from the beginning i get there and she's she's already in a great mood she's like hi i'm like hi she said, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? And she's like, I'm, I'm great too. What are we doing today? So we go through the whole thing and I'm like, the form online to change my name. I got married, but it was five years ago. It was 2019. And she's like, oh, don't worry about it. All I need is your ID and your marriage certificate. Like, I know you came over prepared, but you worried for nothing. We're literally finished. Like she like click clacked on her keyboard for like 30 seconds and looked at my certificate and blah 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 and she was like okay honey we're all done see you worried for nothing you shouldn't do that to yourself and I was like I really needed that like you don't understand how much of an angel you are so I wanted to take you guys with me to check our oops sorry I didn't mean to hit you uh, to check our tomatoes. Today we have two tomato plants and both of them took a really long time to produce any tomatoes. Um, here are my elephant ears. They're doing okay. <laughs> As you can see, this one is struggling, but honestly they're not really in the best spot. They get a lot of sun here. Um, I could have planted them better. Oh, I can see tomatoes. Can see our little harvest. Okay, don't be mean, all right? I know this looks dry AF, okay? Also, Nakota likes to come out here and dig. He's got toys in the tomatoes, right? But my dad built this for us a couple of months after we bought this house and moved in. Like, Look how good these look. These are little. I don't remember what exactly this tomato plant is called. And they're so red. And it's like they turn that bright red within like a day. I promise that some of these were not like this just even yesterday. Can I get you? I hope you're not rotten. I would hate to like reach for one of these and pull it off and it just like explode in my hand because it's rotten and got left on there for too long i see one back here please don't be rotten please don't be rotten mm. it's a sad day when that happens i wonder if i can cut it off this one 
is called a better boy i think this one has really big tomatoes on it these are a lot bigger coquito who's three now likes to come out here and take them off before they're ripe so he i mean he knows not to pick them until they're red but sometimes he just can't help his little can't help his little self making some pinto beans and even though I don't eat pinto beans well I don't eat beans in general really because I feel like they really upset oh my gosh ut, upset they really upset they really upset my stomach Meech loves beans and I feel like they really kind of obviously buff up his meals now where i'm trying to lose weight he's trying to gain weight i'm also putting in some of this sazon tropical if you have don't have this or if you have not seen this i have a really hard time finding it i find it honestly at burlington coat factory it is the best seasoning if you want a i would say this is an alternative to goya sazon it is so good i kid you not like you need this in your life i use it on so many things i have a lot of water in here so if you see me just kind of freely pouring stuff in just know it's a lot to season okay um i also have some of the nor oh my god what is this called it's like it is like Boyan. It's chicken and tomato. This one is really good. Um, if you like the chicken one, this one is just like that but with tomato in it. Um, you can use it for a lot of things. Oh my god. <laughs> just like a clump flew in there. And honestly, this has salt. This has salt, because I have salt, so I don't even add salt to this because it's not necessary. You want me to go into cardiac arrest? Is that what happens when you overdose on salt? I got my bay leaves in here. I feel like a little witch with my cauldron taking bay leaves out of a glass jar. I just dropped one in there. How many bay leaves do you guys typically use? I have like a two bay leaf rule. I feel like two bay leaves are it's usually enough for pretty much everything. Sorry if you get grossed out by raw meat. Not me. Bye. Anyway. The broth already smells really good and it's not even cooking yet. Like just the seasons itself smell delicioso. Also, speaking of delicioso, um, Mitch and I have a Spanish channel. It's called Bilingue Batty. I'm on this kind of journey to help others uh, learn Spanish in a natural, easygoing, welcoming space and so we have some spanish immersion vlogs over on bilingue batty um i think by the time you see this we probably only have one now i am advising you right spanish is my second language <laughs> so i'm not a perfect spanish speaker but i am pretty damn fluent 
even though I make mistakes sometimes and in the first vlog that I that we made um, you know if you are learning Spanish you're gonna make mistakes you're always probably gonna make mistakes even as English speakers who are native English native native English speakers English native speakers native English speakers and native Spanish speakers also make mistakes sometimes I think you have to get over being afraid to make mistakes and i definitely do make some mistakes in that first vlog but anyway if you are wanting to learn spanish or if you're just kind of interested in seeing vlogs with both of us speaking spanish you should check it out it's a new side project i have going okay i'm gonna go put this to cook because it's already like it's 6 30 meech is asleep with coquito i have to have a ring light you guys because my house was built during the energy crisis and so during the energy crisis they just stopped putting windows in homes and so I have one window <laughs> I have one window in my living room one of these days I'm gonna get like a glass front door and just put like the frosted film over the glass so that we can get more light I have one window in my bedroom. I have Coquito has one window. I have one window in my office. I have one window in the back room that we have. And then we have an addition right out here. It's like it was a patio that was converted into like an office or sunroom area. That has three windows plus a glass window. And then I have a glass door right here and I have a I have a window in this dining room that's right behind you guys definitely giving cave right it's giving bunker so i have to have a ring light because otherwise it would be looking really dungeony in here today is my niece's birthday party she's having a pool party she's turning nine and she's really into stationery she really loves to write she loves to doodle she loves to do arts and crafts she loves girly things like nail polish makeup um jewelry things like that so i'm gonna shop around a little bit and see what i have i can get uh her birthday party starts at 7 and it's 4 45 right now and it, we're gonna need some time to get up there too so yes i know i'm wearing the same i'm in the same shell that i was in yesterday i had to put this over it because i can't go out in public with just this i mean i could but it's like a it's like a crop top so i'd rather not you know <laughs> For my niece, I got her these really cute, kind of spooky press-ons. She's super into nails and press-ons in general. She specifically asked me for a new set of gel pens, so I got her these. She also asked for a new notebook or a sketch pad. She also needed a new sketch pad, but I couldn't find any sketch pads in Marshalls. And I got her this Disney bracelet because she's going to Disney in September and she's like literally obsessed. Look how cute that is. She is obsessed with um, finding outfits, putting her outfits and accessories together already. She's like got the whole thing planned out. Every time I we get together, she is talking about, you know, what is she going to wear on this day and what she's going to where to dinner and you know what her accessories are gonna look at what kind of mickey mouse ears she's gonna wear every day so and then i got this really cute birthday card birthday vibes i just feel like you know little nine-year-old her would will not would will love everything in her little gift bag <laughs> Somebody told Meech that he looked like Will Smith. Oh, Will 
know it's me. Oh my God. <laughs> he said, know. don't call me Meech anymore. My yeah. name is Will Smith. I only Willis? answer to Will Smith. Smith. <laughs> Sitting here, it's 12.30 already. I thought it was like 11. <laughs> Doing some late night laundry and cleaning up the kitchen. We had a late dinner, got home from our pool party kind of late, probably like around 9.30. Didn't eat before we went to the pool party and then we came home and had a late dinner and just kind of like, enjoying this rare moment of stillness and silence and aloneness. I'm definitely someone who likes to have lots of alone time. Like I, I almost need it. Like I don't just crave it, I need it. Um, and a lot of times when I'm putting Coquito down, I end up falling asleep just because, you know, as a mom of a toddler, as a mom of any kid, really, you are just so tired by the end of the day. And I made it a point today to make sure that I did not fall asleep while I was putting him down. Um, because I wanted to be able to come in here and just enjoy the space of my living room by myself and be able to spend some time by myself. I think as adults in general, whether you have kids or not, regardless of your occupation, we all need some time to just sit with ourselves, sit with ourselves without all of the various distractions that we have readily available at our hands at all times so i'm gonna be in here just kind of enjoying this tranquility of my living room enjoying the space that meech and i have created and i love my house sometimes especially when we just had first bought it i would just kind of sit in here by myself sometimes because meech and Coquito were already asleep or whatever and I would just think about I cannot believe this house is mine like I can't believe this is my house and I love it like I love this house so much and it's so cozy and it's so welcoming it just it feels like home regardless of all of the remodeling that I want to do all of the changes I want to make to make it more like me more like us um, I still love it just the way it is, but I have myself a little nice adult beverage. I don't have any ice, okay? Don't attack me for not putting ice in my drink it's because I don't have any. And I have my water. I got this. This is not a Stanley. Um, this is called Color Drop. I got this from a student for my birthday this past year. Yellow is my favorite color. I'm actually gonna sit in here and after I just kind of like relax a little bit, I'm gonna get into some editing and some reading. But I'm actually gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed this like coming back vlog and kind of following me around the last couple of days. I've had a lot of fun getting back into filming and I love putting videos together. I love editing. I love the creative process of it all. And so I've really been enjoying it. It feels really good to be back. And I'm really happy that you are on this journey with me through the ups and the downs. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.